Well, the bees are all back. And I'll just take the lens off one second. The, uh, it's a lovely day and they're all back, the red mason bees. And the big, you never know, well breaking insect hotel is all done. So let's go and have a look. I've just been painting all the tops, giving them another coat. So let's have a look from the bottom and see what you think. So here it is, all protected and finished. 3,943 or eight holes, I can't remember, but it's a big boy. And it was so hard finishing it off because the bees kept going in it. I think I had two laid eggs in it while I was finishing the lid. And they're now, now it's in place between the other insect hotels. They keep coming past it, so they are visiting. And it won't be long. And it's huge. It's more holes in this than all of my others put together. And then some. So let's just back out a little bit so you can see. There is a lot of real estate there for the bees. And uh, it won't be long and that will be inundated. Got perfect place for it between my others. So this wall is coming along nicely. I'm just doing a few spot repairs on these. I was going to go for like a tiled roof and do something really elaborate but it didn't work out so I opted for the uh, the old faithful shuttering ply and loads of coats of uh, waterproofer. I overlapped the backs of the uprights so that they fit nicely and they're snug and it's all fitted together at the back with two lengths of three by three in between the uh, the angles of each upright and therefore really fixing it well together and then I'm just going to fix it to the fence because it is heavy and it will blow over if I'm not careful but other than that it's all done awaiting new leaseholders <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed these videos when it's really buzzing and full of life i'll take another one at the moment i think they're just dazed by how much uh, they've, somebody's put a city in the way so uh thanks for watching please put any comments below and uh, see you next time